am doing a get ready with me video and I did include my hair because a lot of you guys have been asking how I get my really curly curls. So I wanted to show you what I was using and I've been using the Lustrum set from Numi. They have offered me some amazing coupon codes that I'm going to go ahead and leave down below. The Lustrum set that I'm using in this video and have been loving to get these curls. The code is Lola Curls, and you get $100 off that styling set as well as any of the styling sets on Numi's website. So that's an awesome deal. Also, if you use the code Lola Lynn, you're going to get 40% off the entire website plus free shipping in the U.S. So some really good deals. So I wanted to use um, the ColourPop foursome that Kathleen Lights created to do an eye look. So I thought I would throw in the hair and plus those amazing discount codes. If you're interested in seeing my makeup and hair, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, first I'm going to start off with the Kathleen Lights Color Pop light for some in where the light is and I'm using the shade Cornelius which is a matte warm shade I really like this shade in the crease it's a great transition color it's not too dark but it's also a nice buildable shade so if you do want to darken it up you can just go in with another layer but I'm just using a light layer and a synthetic blending brush to use that through the crease then we're gonna go in with the Lorac Pro 2 palette and this is a palette that I haven't really showed enough love recently so I pulled it out and I'm using the shade Plum in the palette and I'm just running this through the crease. This is a Makeup Geek crease brush. I actually don't like this brush. I think this was before they redid the brushes. It shed all over my face so um, yeah I think this was a brush that I got a long time ago when she first came out with brushes. So. They're much better now, but I must have grabbed for the old crease brush. But anyways, just use any crease brush and rub that, rub that, run that through your crease. And just to kind of build that plum color up and meld it into the Cornelius matte brown shade. And then I'm going to go into the color that's part of the quad in Glow. This is like one of my favorite colors. I've already hit pan on it. It's a perfect creamy matte shade and I love using this under the brow bone because it really just lights up the brow bone area Then I went back in with Cornelius and used that to clean up the transition just kind of make it a little bit more smooth and then going in with another one of my favorites honestly this quad is like amazing but it's the color blaze it's just a beautiful like antique bronze color and I'm just using my finger to put this all over the lid. Again, this is another shade you can build up, but it is really nice. Uh, it has a lot of like glitter in it, but I don't notice that they fall out at all. But it's just such a beautiful, unique, like antique bronze shade. And then for that pop in the center, I'm using Kathleen Lights, which is a gorgeous, like amber, bronzy, metallic shade. I love it. So I'm just putting that in the center of the eye. And then going to go back in with that plum shade from the Lorac Pro 2 palette. And I switched brush it, brushes. I'm using the, I think, Sigma E45 brush here. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. Um, but anyway, some, some type of like pointed crease brush. Just going to go ahead and run that through the crease just to clean it up. And then I'm touching up with the glow shade again. And then also the Cornelius shade, just to kind of go back in and layer these colors if you lost any of them. So just go back in with that. And I find using synthetic brushes work really well with these if you're not comfortable using your finger. So I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to tight line with the Hourglass. The Hourglass eyeliner, it's like a waterline eyeliner. It's very, very waterproof. So I'm just going to put this right in my upper lashes just to give some depth right there. And then I'm going to do it really, really close to my lash line. Super close. Not, I don't want it to be dramatic at all. I really just wanted to darken up the lash line. So that's why I use this because it has such a fine point. And then to clean up under my eyes, I'm using the Urban Decay Concealer in light warm and the MAC Light Boost um, Prep and Prime Light Boost Concealer. So I'm just going to put that one down my nose and I'm just using my ring finger to blend this all in. I typically use a beauty blender but honestly I forgot it in the other room so I'm just using my finger and kind of pressing it into my skin 
and then I'm going to I would just went down in that triangle shape down my nose kind of around my like upper lip on my chin it's kind of blended out everywhere <laughs> Then I'm gonna go into the NYX um, color correcting powder and this is uh, a loose powder and it's in the shade banana I like the loose and the press version of this and just so I'm gonna set that all under my eyes and on the center of my face and then I'm gonna go in with the Jane Cosmetics brown shimmer liner for my waterline I love this color it has a little bit of a shimmer in it but um, not too too much so I'm just kind of putting that on my lash line and then I'm gonna smudge that out using a just any pencil brush I think this one is from Sigma then I'm going to on that same brush take the Kathleen lights shade from the ColourPop foursome and put that on the innermost portion of the eye just kind of right towards the inner corner then I'm going to take Roller Lash from Benefit and Max Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I'm using the Roller Lash on the top lashes and then the MAC Mascara on the bottom lashes and just kind of putting on a few coats. I skipped false lashes for this because I wanted it just to be like a very easy wearable look and I don't wear false lashes in my everyday life so this was like an everyday look for me. For my highlighter in the inner corner, I'm using this ColourPop highlighter in Wisp. I wanted to try and use a lot of my ColourPop products in this video just because I was going to be using the quad and so this is a newer product from ColourPop so I thought I would use it in this look. And then for my bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This came in the Little Black Book Bronzing Palette but it's also a bronzer that is sold separately if you don't want to buy that. Um, little black book but that's a great investment because you get all of the bronzers just in a mini um, pan in that set and I really like it. For my blush I'm using this boba blush and it's like a shimmering highlighting blush. I think it's part of the highlighting collection but it's a light pink blush -y glowy shade so I'm just using that as my blush and then I am highlighting just a little bit with that color wisp again on the tops of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and then I'm going to go in for my lip combination and I'm sticking with Kathleen's um, lip that she created and this is the color in Lumiere it's the lippy pencil and the lippy stick and then I'm putting Anastasia's lip gloss and undressed over that so I'm just going to line my lips with that pencil and then fill them in and the gloss now moving on to hair I'm using the Numi Lustrum set this set is amazing. It comes in this little travel case and it comes with a bunch of different wands that you just attach to the base. So a pro wand, I show the reverse wand, then this is the 19 millimeter one, the 25 millimeter one, and then 32 millimeter, and a glove. So here's the base. So you can just attach whichever wand you would like to use. I'm using the reverse wand in this and I really like the curls that this gives. So you just turn it, lock it in place, and then to start off, I'm using the Argon Oil. I really, really like this oil because it is also like a heat protectant for the hair and it keeps it like shiny and the frizz down. So I just put a little bit on my hair and then I'm wrapping my hair around the wand. I'm leaving a little bit out. I start out by wrapping it around, like away from my face and then I leave a little bit out at the ends and I kind of just move it back and forth um, around that end part so that I don't get it extra curly. Hold it and then catch it in my hand and let it go. And then I do the same, but I'm wrapping it towards my face now. So every other I do. And I keep my hair tight when I'm doing these like more tighter curls. I've done a whole lot of looser curl, but this is just how I use the reverse wand. I like the curls, very tight curls like this. So I hold the hair together. As you can see, I don't like lay it flat on the wand. And so now I'm going to speed it up a little bit, but I just kind of go around the bottom section of my hair and do every other curl. So away from the face, towards the face. All the curls that are right next to my face, I go away from my face, and then that's kind of how I go from there. So away, towards, away, towards. Whenever I use this wand, the metal in it, the tourmaline metal, it totally like I don't know what it does but no other wand holds my curls longer than the Numi wands. I bought my first Numi set a lot like three years ago and it has been my favorite set ever. 
I, I have just loved it because honestly like it smooths my hair shaft and the curls stay forever so these curls I can literally just touch them up with oil and they'll stay for days and days so now we're getting towards the front of my face and I just you know continue to do the same thing more towards the front of my face I go away from my face as you can see and then I take this one and I turn it back which I learned from my friend Stephanie to kind of get a little bit of a wave in front of your face so now I'm just going through with some of that oil and breaking up the curls and so that they're not just like tight and you can do this however you please just breaking them up a little bit um, but this is how I get these nice tighter curls this set is absolutely amazing because it comes with everything you need to achieve a whole bunch of different curls so you're not going to need to go out and buy a bunch of different ones it comes all in one thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check down below for any discount code or coupon codes these curls will literally last me for days whenever I use a Numi iron the curls last me for days so and then you can just keep touching up with the argon oil to keep the shine in them and keep the frizz down so if you want any of those products mentioned check the links down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video Mwah.